Gross Grunhorn is a 4,000 metre peak in the heart of the Bernese Oberland. It's an impressive rock pyramid viewed from the Finsterrohorn hut to the east, while from the west it looks like a shark fin from the Eletsch Glacier, the largest ice stream in the Alps. The purist's approach is an eight hour glacier hike from Fiesch, but most will approach from the Jungfrau Jok Railway. We climbed Gross Grunhorn on the third day of our Alpine tour, following Gross Fieschehorn and Finsterrohorn. The glacier recession in the Alps is obvious as you reach the Concordia hut. It was built just a few metres above the glacier, but now... There are a lot of stairs up to the con 467, no less. <laughs> We're doing it tough here in the Alps. <laughs> We've got our own double room. And a view from the window of tomorrow's approach route to Grunegghorn. The Concordia hut is in a fantastic position and has a wonderful terrace overlooking the confluence of four glaciers. It's a special place to spend the afternoon and evening. It's three o'clock in the Concordia hut, and we're the only ones up for climbing. I think everybody else is Gletscher wandering. We're uh, losing 150 metres of altitude, unfortunately. We've been going for two hours now, and we're in the little snow basin that will take us up to the ridge. Our chosen route first takes us up the southwest ridge of the Grunegghorn. Just made it up onto the ridge, looking back down the snow gully there. Dawn across the Lechhorn there. And the sun just touching the Jungfrau. Almost three hours, and we're onto the ridge leading up to the Grunegghorn. It was exactly four hours to the top of Grunegghorn with a perfect view of Gross Grunhorn's southwest ridge. It looks a steep descent off Grunegghorn, but it's mostly easy rock scrambling and a final short, steep snow slope down to the col connecting with Gross Grunhorn. We gained the rock ridge at its lowest point. Just on the side, it's crest. Easy scrambling, and plenty of flakes to flick the rock behind for protection. We stayed just under the ridge crest for the first half and made quick progress along ledges. We then gained the ridge crest once the angle eased. Really fun climbing up here. It was exhilarating scrambling along the final sharp ridge with spectacular views at every angle. The route is graded Alpine AD-. However, under the dry conditions we experienced, the route seemed quite straightforward. Just over an hour after leaving the Grunegghorn, we arrived at the summit of Gross Grunhorn. The summit of Gross Grunhorn offers a spectacular panorama of the entire Bernese Oberland. All of the major peaks are in close proximity. We spent an hour on the summit, constantly switching our gaze between the icy giants. The Gross Grunhorn is a very enjoyable and rewarding climb our favourite during our 2016 trip.